Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be talking about the uncontrolled re-entries of rockets and satellites. Now an open letter published by the Outer Space Institute OSI calls for both national and multilateral efforts to restrict uncontrolled re-entries of rockets and satellites. The Outer Space Institute is a network of world-leading space experts which aim to address challenges arising from the use and exploration of space. It is based in Canada. Now the uncontrolled re-entries is the phenomenon of rocket pods falling back to earth in unguided fashion once their missions are complete in an uncontrolled re-entry the rocket stage simply falls its downward path is determined by its shape angle of descent air currents and other characteristics it will also disintegrate as it falls as the smaller pieces fall out the potential radius of impact will increase on the ground furthermore some pieces burn up entirely while others do not now let us discuss the concerns about the re-entries speed more than the size it is the speed at which the space debris are traveling that makes them deadly rise in launches the number of rocket launches have been surging with the advent of reusable rocket stages today there are more than 6000 satellites in orbit most of them in low earth 100 to 2000 kilometers and geostationary 35786 kilometer orbits placed there in more than 5000 launches it also has the impact on land Most rocket pods have landed in oceans principally because earth surface has more water than land but many have dropped on land as well impact on population the risk from uncontrolled re-entries are growing as the global population grows many places have become more densely populated conservative estimates place the casualty risk from uncontrolled rocket body re-entries as being on the order of 10% in the next decade north versus south countries in the global south face a disproportionately higher risk of casualties than the global north it also has impact on airlines an impact anywhere on an airline you know with debris of mass about 300 grams would produce a catastrophic failure meaning all people on board would be killed chemical contamination if re-entering stages still hold fuel atmospheric and terrestrial chemical contamination is another risk examples parts of a spacex falcon 9 that fell down in indonesia in 2016 included two refrigerator sized fuel tanks parts of a russian rocket in 2018 and china's long march 5b rockets in 2020 and 2022 hit parts of indonesia peru india and ivory coast among others now let's see if there is any international agreement to tackle this there is no international binding agreement to ensure rocket stages always perform controlled re countries nor on the technologies with which to do so the liability convention 1972 requires countries to pay for damages arising from uncontrolled entries and not prevent them now some states have adopted a safety threshold of one predicted casualty per 10000 launches that is 0.01% about which controlled re-entries are supposed to be required this means launches should keep the chance of a casualty from re-entering body to be below 0.01% talking about the criticism of 1 in 10000 threshold this threshold is arbitrary and not widely accepted internationally even those states that use it have often waived the requirement on multiple occasions when the compliance is deemed to be unreasonably expensive most importantly the 1 in 10000 threshold does not account for cumulative risk from all the launches over a period of time this threshold makes little sense in an era when new technologies and mission profiles enable controlled re-entries now there are recommendations from OSI to minimize the damage while the OSI letter admits that any kind of re-entry will inevitably damage some ecosystem it recommends that bodies aim for an ocean in order to avoid human casualties future solutions should be extended to re-entering satellites as well focus should be on developing and using small the satellites as they are likelier to burn up during re-entry now that was little bit about the uncontrolled re-entries of rockets and satellites let's take a practice question from the topic consider the statements regarding uncontrolled re-entries of rockets and satellites the liability convention 1972 requires countries to pay for damages arising from uncontrolled re-entries of rockets and satellites statement 2 outer space treaty 1967 is an internationally binding agreement to ensure rocket stages always perform controlled re-entries now which of the statements given above are correct you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below
Now the correct answer is A. That is only the statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 is incorrect as there is no international binding agreement to ensure rocket stages always perform controlled re-entries. I hope you liked the discussion and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IS YouTube channel.